Hello class 9. Welcome back to the chapter we left in the previous class, The Little Girl. The chapter in which I just told you that how necessary it is for the parents to be very loving, to be very kind and to pamper the children for their holistic, holistic means all round development of the personality of the children. So to continue with the chapter, we find how the beginning and the ending, they are contrasting. In the beginning, father had a very harsh attitude. Father did not love his own daughter. In the end, we find there was a changed attitude of the father. And the father, in the absence of mother, starts showering love and affection to Kezia. So let us continue the chapter from the book. We are on paragraph number 9. From paragraph number 9 we have to start in which what we find that that little girl like all the other children learns things and gets exposure to the surrounding just by observation like all the children do. So she just observed how her neighbors, McDonald's, her neighbors, McDonald's, they were very cheerful. They were very happy and they spent their merry times together. There was a man, McDonald's, he lived next door. They had five children. Looking through a gap in the fence, the little girl saw them playing tag in the evening. T-A-G tag. Tag word is here for playing a game. The father with the baby on the shoulder and two little girls, they were hanging on his coat pockets. They were running around and they were playing together. They were trying to catch each other, laughing all the time, sharing their happy times. So little girl Kezia was observing everything and she was so much fascinated. Fascinated means she was very much attracted to such kind of happy, loving and cheerful family. We have attraction for something when we don't have it. She did not get love of her own father. So she was attracted to another family where father showered a lot of love to his children. So, so she decided. So what she thought, there are different kinds of fathers. So from here children we have one question how did Kezia make out that there are different kinds of fathers? Why did Kezia say that there are different kinds of fathers? Why did she say? The answer is in ninth paragraph. She said like that because when she looked at McDonald's playing merrily, cheerfully, happily wonderfully with his own children then she could deduce d-e-d-u-c-e -E, deduce means she could make out she could think that fathers are of different kinds now suddenly what happened one day now see coming to the next pointer mother's illness left Kezia alone and suppressed now after this what we find one day, Kezia's mother fell ill. She was taken ill. Taken ill or fell ill means that she was not in a good shape. To be not in a good shape, not to be in a good shape, that means that feeling unwell. Bukhar ko kehte hai sir. Kezia's mother was ill. So what happened when mother is ill? Mother cannot take care of the child. Kezia was alone. Kezia was alone and suppressed. Suppressed means her emotions, her feelings, her sentiments, they were all suppressed. They got suppressed. Suppressed means she could not V-E-N-T went out. Her emotions, her feelings, ko apne feelings ko baat ko share nahi kar sakti thi. Then what happened? She was all alone. When she is alone, who will take care of her? Ellis. This is a new character. 
एलिस ए एल आई सी ई एलिस वुड टेक केयर ऑफ हर विन मदर वॉज नॉट देयर हु एल्स इज देयर एट होम ग्रैंड मदर इज ऑल्सो देयर ना सो वी विल टॉक अबाउट हर ऑल्सो कम ऑन नाउ एलिस वॉज पुटिंग हर टू बेड शी ग्री यू सडनली अफ्रेड नाउ इट इज द इवनिंग टाइम इट इज द नाइट टाइम केजिया वॉज फीलिंग अफ्रेड she was scared why it is the night time the little girl is alone and what happened it was elis who was trying to put her to sleep then what happened come on the 10th paragraph what will i do if i have a nightmare now she it means if i have a nightmare means what she is saying it means she already had such kind of terrible dreams which really scared her a lot she was very much afraid of terrible dreams and that she had she often had and then what happened when she had the nightmares her grandmother took her into her bed and i can't stay in the dark it all gets whispery it all gets whispery she said whispery means as if she hears some kind of suspicious sounds or threatening sounds she hears that's why she is saying so elizet you just go to sleep she you just go to sleep and that's it and don't scream and wake your poor pa but the same old nightmare came the butcher with the knife same old nightmare means i told you she already had some terrible dreams so she had the same nightmare this time again the, that is about what coming to page number 37 first paragraph if you get a question what was kezia's nightmare what was kezia's nightmare you will write the answer from the first paragraph that in her dream a butcher with a knife and a rope came nearer and nearer and smiled in a dreadful manner dreadful means in a very terrible manner grandma grandma she woke shivering to see father beside her bed a candle in his hand but this time what is the scenario mother is home no mother is not home mother has been hospitalized father is there grandmother is also there but this time it is father who is taking care of alice alice had never oh sorry not alice uh, this kezia kezia had never expected kezia had never expected means never thought that father will also be over pampering and be so affectionate to her oh a butcher a knife i want granny the spelling of granny in this is g r a n i e it can be g r a n n y so i want granny she yelled she cried he blew out the candle bent down and caught up the child in his arms so it is father who is there with his tender love for such a gentle child carrying her along the passage to the big bedroom a newspaper was on the bed he put away the paper and carefully tucked the child tucked the child means as if snuggled the child and brought the child closer to him to love to pamper the small child and it was at that time that when father came closer to her that and uh, snuggled her head under his arm held tightly uh, to his own shirt that she felt very c o s y cozy and comfortable she felt very cozy and comfortable then the dark did not matter dark did not matter means here dark is for night here it was night time she was scared now she did not get bothered about that she lay quite still rub your feet against my legs and get them warm father said like that see how affectionate father is becoming now coming to the 12th paragraph kezia had a nightmare we have done 
father pampered her. What are the pointers which I have on the board? This is my own technique of doing the chapter because chapters are of four pages, five, six pages like that. But every page deals with some particular content. Okay. And these pointers or these headings, subheadings, they are in the form of indirect hidden questions too. Questions are hidden inside them. So, Kezia snuggled and comforted herself. Kezia snuggled. Snuggled the meaning is given here. Moved towards father here it is. In, in fact, applicable word here is moved towards father and felt herself very comfortable. Kezia snuggled and comforted herself with her father. With this, the chapter will end. Let's read the 12th paragraph. We will close it then. A funny feeling came over her. Poor father, not so big. She is thinking poor father. The word poor here is for father who is very pathetic as a very helpless because mother is not there and the whole day father also works. So father also gets a tired and there is no one to look after him he was harder than grandmother but it was a nice hardness it means grandmother was also hard was also hard means was also strict but father was stricter than the grandmother it was a nice hardness and every day he had to work father had to work every day and was too tired to be a McDonald. Too tired to be a McDonald means Kezia is thinking that my father cannot be like McDonald because McDonald probably does not have a sickening, a very tiring, a very exhausting job. But Kezia's father might have a very tough job. That's why she's saying like that. It shows that how understanding that little girl is. She had torn up all his beautiful handwriting. His beautiful handwriting, she is here talking about the speech that father had prepared and Kezia had torn that all. She stirred suddenly and sighed. She suddenly stirred. She shook as if, means as if she got a jolt. And she just sighed, S-I-G-H-E-D. Sighed means she took a long breath of, a deep breath of relief. She was really relieved at this moment, finding that father is also there to comfort her, to please her. What is the matter? Father asked in a good dream. Father knew Kezia had nightmares. Oh, said the little girl. My head is on your heart. I can hear it going. What a big heart you have got, father dear. She said, what a big heart you have got. Big heart you have got is for that father was really sea hearted. In fact, fathers are very responsible and they're very committed. Sometimes we don't realize when we see just the negative phase of the parents, we forget that how sacrificing, how responsible, how committed even they are towards their children. So she realized at this moment, because it was a moment of crisis as if for her and in problems and difficulties only, we understand other people better. When she faced a problem, she could understand that father is also very kind, very soft-hearted not to stone hearted right i hope all of you definitely understood the chapter as far as the questions are concerned we will do children please in this lockdown period utilize your time unlock your hidden potential and read the chapters to the fullest drop everything and read this is how you can enjoy the reading time in the night before you go to bed before you retire for the day always make it a point that you read english books you can forget all the other subjects because english literature really relieves your stress 
it unnerves your stress. So you must read the stories before you go to bed. Wish you all the best. Have happy reading. Bye children.